Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I am going to need to put on my makeup, so I thought, why not you get ready with me? Ah, <sighs> y'all know, those of you who ah, been following me on my trip, you know, I just got back from a business trip, and um, yeah, it was... It's always wonderful to, um, I work for Chick-fil-A. One of you asked for me, who do you work for? You need to look at some of my videos, honey, because I talk about who I work for all, all the time. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, we go and honor our operators. And that's the, um, restaurant operators every year. We put on an event for them. So it's work for me, just so you know. And, um, I know, I'm getting my little palettes together back here. Would I not have been a better prepared person? And what am I going to use today? Wait, I said I was going to use old stuff, which the It Cosmetics one is old now because I've had it a while. But, um, I'm going to go back further. And I'm just going to pick one. I think I did the, another one of these the other day. So, after I do this one, I'm going to be kind of done with Chantikai and talking about Chantikai. But... These are three face palettes that I have, and so let's just, I used this one the other day, it's my favorite, but you can't get it anymore, oh. and it's got the imprint of Wild Horses on it, which I love, and I love these colors though, especially in fall and winter, or like, fall, it's fall colors, I'll just show you, for those of you who didn't see that the other day, so even kept this in it, and I wasn't going to use it anymore, but see how you can see, let me just let it kind of focus and uh, sorry about the mirror but I want it to be right side up usually I try to get it up like that so you can see it but it has the imprint of horses in it and um, the cheek color is called freedom the highlighter is called Palomino and then um, the brown is Mustang and the black is a liner as well you can you know wet your brush and make it a liner it's called black stallion and all her palettes. Um, she gives proceeds to the causes and this one is um, the Wild Horses palette and it's to free them from being pursued and uh, they corral them when they, they say it. I think it's because they say that the farmers say it bothers their cattle but I don't know. I can't remember if it's government done or what but it is really cruel how they do it. They do it with helicopters and they corral them until they're terrified, and the little baby ones, they, they run them too hard and too long, and it kills them, and uh, I'll never forget the impact it had on me, I talked about this in another video, because um, the, um, the baby horse collapsed, and you saw at the end, they got them all, but the black stallion, and it was in the distance, and the cameraman, because there's a lot of people that go out and film this, because they're so against it, so there's a lot of photographers for causes that go out, like the uh, World Wildlife Fund and, and such that um, film it uh, with these <laughs> these cameras that have a lens this big. So they must be um, having to be at a great distance to do it. Because it's, I think it's government land. I don't remember. <sighs> That's used for, I don't know, raising certain things. Um, anyway, or farmland. I don't remember how it's done. But um, but you see the, the stallion turn. He's at the top of a ridge. And he, he got away. He broke away from the rest. And he turns and he looks at him. And then he rears up and he runs. And it's sort of like he left them, but it's like he survived. He's the one that survived free and wild. So it was just so, so sad. I wanted to cry so hard, but anyway. Okay, so here is the Save the Bees palette. And it's very pretty as well. I don't know if I showed the cover of that one, but it shows the horses running. Wild. You could look at it two, two ways. They're running wild and free, or they're running because they're being pursued. But anyway, this is Save the Bees. And obviously, if we don't have bees, y'all, we're going to die. You have to have the, the pollination um, process that God only put in the bee in order to raise crops. So these colors are also awesome. If you'll notice, there's always a cheek color included in the palette. There's always a highlighter, a transition color, and a dark color that can be used for liner. So this is a perfect face palette because it's just four. I have a lot of face palettes that have several choices, but this is just four. And you can just pick a look and go with it. And I think this is one of the better ones. Now, let me tell you, that blue highlighter, I have to tell you, I had to get used to that because it's almost like having a very white white is what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to 
yeah, it just looks like a very white white. You don't apply a lot of it and it doesn't look blue that way. Or you can apply a lot of it like on the lid and give yourself a blue look. But anyway, um, so that's Save the Bees. And then this one's um, Save the Coral, Re Coral Reef. And it's white, so it looks real summery. It has a beautiful silver piece of coral on it. And usually when you get the palette, whatever is imprinted, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on this one. You can cut it to the top. It's usually imprinted with gold, and then as you use it, it goes down to just the regular imprint. And the more you use it, you lose the imprint altogether. This is probably one of my favorite. Um, it's clearly a summer palette because it's a very peachy gold blush which isn't my typical thing that I like. I like more of a pink color. But these three colors for eyeshadow are perfection. So I'll use them today. I haven't used this in a while, so let me get my little, my little kit right here of brushes. So before I get going here, y'all, how are y'all doing? Because I'm also going to, I thought about doing a, um, what to take on a trip. What do y'all want to see that? Because I just got back, so I'm unpacking. So comment below if you think that would be something you'd like to see what I take on a trip with me. It may not be everything. Oh gosh, that's so good. Okay, so first of all, we're going to use a shader and use the highlighter. And you can use the highlighter in a number of ways. By the way, if you're trying to save an imprint, kind of go in one section only. But you can use the highlighter certainly under the brow. I'm going to go both directions to make sure I fill the pores at any angle. That highlighter is there, but you can also use your highlighter, um, obviously use it in the inner corner and over the lid if you want to. Some people like a dark lid, in that case you wouldn't do what I'm doing right now. You would leave that blank. Um, and instead you're going to end up putting on a, a kind of a primer for a dark color, like a creamier base for a dark color. But you can just do a quick wash over all the skin. And why does that do any good? Why, why would you even do that? First of all, it kind of brightens the underneath and it also puts a powder on top and I used to think well that'll just keep the powder from sticking it kind of does yes but at the same time it also keeps them from sticking where you wouldn't want it to always go back and forth to make sure you get in the the, the pores because so if you go one direction you may not get all the pores um, under the highlight and then this I just go straight up and down y'all know I go straight up and down by the nose and that gets the inner tear duct and this inner corner area right there and then I go ahead and sweep it on over the lid. And in this case, I'm also going to sweep it over the whole area. And what that does is, yes, it does kind of take away any stick value to getting the makeup on there, like you would have with a primer. But it, it keeps anything from sticking. And that what's good is it keeps you from having a patchy, kind of like, oh, it sticks here, it doesn't there. It keeps you from having a patchy look, so you do want that. So now we're going to go with this kind of transition-y color. Again, I'm kind of staying at the top so that I don't use it up too much. And this, I'm going to go just under where I was. Under the brow, right at the front, and then come, go up and come down. Not going too high, I don't want to get that area. And then out and in, like that. I have to do a lot right here because this scar, as one of you pointed out, I just, I love it having subby friends because one of you pointed out to me I need to go back and see who that was whoever you are if you did it comment below and say that was me but you pointed out that scar tissue doesn't have pores and therefore that may be why my makeup does not appear to stick very well right there you know it's kind of slicky scar tissue is I had a little um, accident when I was a little girl right there I was walking up the back stairs and I had a little terry cloth um, um, jacket on and it had a little hood and I was coming back from the pool but then we used to have the whole neighborhood walk together parents didn't even go that's we just have all the kids walking down together and the older kids kind of looked out for the younger kids I would no more do that today but anyway I don't know if it was really a safer time or if our parents just were more trusting I think they were just more trusting but now it's just so mediaized socialized uh, the information about um, people who have duck children or bullies or raping younger children that you go, I ain't no way I'm letting my child walk like that. And I actually think that's good. I wouldn't either because that stuff does happen. But anyway, I wish it was a better uh, world where we didn't have to worry about it, but you can't count on that. So anyway, um, and people say, well, in our neighborhood, it happens in every neighborhood, rich and poor, middle class everywhere. So be careful. 
don't let your kids be by themselves like that. But anyway, that's my personal advice. You don't have to agree with it. Anyway, so I was walking up the stairs and the little string of the terry cloth on the little hood uh, was down and I looked down and my foot stepped on it and slammed it down into the concrete so hard that it, um, oh, wait a minute, I think that was this scar. Yeah. Yeah, that one right there. Oh, and I've also got dry skin. I burned my head, y'all, with curling iron doing my bangs. Yeah, that's that scar. What was that one again? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it's when I was even littler. That's what it was. I was littler, and I was going up the front steps and fell and busted my eye. And they had to wrap me like a mummy, and I cried. Oh, I felt so... Uh, I think it was like three years old. I remember it. Anyway, it wasn't pleasant. Let's don't talk about it. <laughs> Poor child. All right, so anyway... Now I'm using a tapered, a small tapered blending brush. This is an E45, and I'm going to this darker color. And because it's tapered, I roll it. I don't just do like that. I roll the whole thing. Tap it off. And go into the crease. And once I get there, then I look up. And that kind of grabs the color and keeps it in the crease. Now if you want to expand it out, you can go ahead and look down and go out a little bit. I don't like to go out too much today. And then with what's left... I turn it with my finger and kind of go out and come back in like that. And that makes that kind of dull V, not a real sharp outer V, but just kind of a, a dull one. Just kind of even that out. And that just kind of gives um, depth. As you see, it's almost, it's very well matched colors. And so it's well, and it's also very well blended. There's not much fallout. I'm just beginning to think that any brush and any palette is going to have fallout. Some of them are more creamy than others. But, um, also, by the way, that technique I was just showing you where you look up, so it grabs it. You can do the technique of both, where it grabs it good at the beginning, so you have a nice, defined crease. And then, you look down and into the mirror, and where you can kind of spread it out a little more. And then, again, I roll it, and go out, in. You see how that makes a V? But it's not very defined, and I don't want it to be. I want it to be a softer V today. And that's the look. Okay, and then you can do one of two things. 